All right, well, we're here in the gallery again, and guess what? You're dealing with just me again, <laughs> so that's what you get. Uh, today, I wanted to continue the conversation. So in the last part, I talked about the relationship of uh, calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium, and how they relate to each other. So I wanted to go through the process of how do you dose that? What are your options for that? And why some are better than others in what ways? Because I'm not particularly strongly of the opinion that one of these is clearly better than the other, uh, but they may work for different situations. So on the left here, we're going to start off with the refusion one and two. So this is the type of situation where a little bit of dosing or just getting into dosing or you don't really want to think too much about it, I guess. This is the easy way to get in. So refusion one doses ionic calcium and it's got magnesium and other things in smaller dosages. And then refusion two is alkalinity. What's kind of the drawback on this stuff is the ease comes at a cost. And the cost is you don't really get to control how much you're dosing and in what concentrations. So depending on what the calcium or alkalinity like usage in your tank is, this you might be dosing too much of one thing or too little of something. So then the next method you could go with, and this is by far the most cost-effective way. The trick is, is that this is also the most work. <laughs> so these are powders that you would need to first test your water, make sure you know where everything's at, and, and let's be honest here, you, if you have corals, you, you should be testing in place. Like, that just, that's just the reality, guys. Like, sorry. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make sure where I put, so the calcium. Your goal range for calcium is around 400 to 450. I have never seen a tank with too much calcium, so uh, I guess go crazy. And then alkalinity. That one is actually fairly easy to overdose. Pay attention to that because your goal range is like 8 to 9, but I have seen tanks as high as like 11. And that presents, that presents its own problems. So. I mentioned these are the most work. These are by far the most work because what it requires you to do, you cannot just measure these out and dump them into your tank. You need to pick one, do your test, figure out how much you need, calculate that out, measure it out. You need RO water that you dissolve it in, make sure it's fully dissolved, and then put it in your system. Then you need to wait 24 hours and then dose the other one. <laughs> The same process, though. You gotta test, measure, dose, all that. I say that because I'm talking from personal experience here. If you dose these on the same day, it will turn your tank into milk. Do not do it. Uh, so that milk is, these are both ionic. And the fun part about that is, is that if one of them isn't fully incorporated into the water column, um, and then you add the other, they will precipitate each other out. And that will look like a nice milky cloud in your tank. It's, and it'll stick for like, I think it was in for like a week. It took a while. <laughs> so don't do that. This is my personal favorite, A, because I really don't like measuring these. That's a personal preference. But also, calcification by FRV control. That stuff's pretty sweet. So these two other lines from SECO are ionic calcium. So this has ionic calcium too, but what's really cool is they have also what's called glutinated calcium. That helps prevent that precipitation problem, but also it's, Ben jokingly says that it's a sugar coating that makes the medicine go down easier. That's not exactly accurate because it's not actually glucose, but it kind of is true because that since it's no longer ionic, um, so ions in water, they have a charge. And the way that different organisms at the cellular level have to pull that in 
requires them to use energy to go against the grain of that ionic balance to suck in calcium. So if it's glutenated, it doesn't have that charge, and in the coral, in this case, doesn't have to work as hard to pull it in. So it's actually more readily available. And the added benefit of, uh, because you're not dealing with that precipitant problem, at least nowhere near as prevalent, you can dose these on the same day. This, in my mind, is just way more convenient, but also it's way more readily available. It's just, so this is definitely the most expensive expensive option of these guys, but it definitely has a lot of benefits to it and to how it reacts in your tank. You know, you don't have to do the, all the mixing and stuff that prep work you have to do for this. Um, you're still doing testing, but you should be testing with any of these lines. So honestly, that's something you're going to have to do regardless. But um, the, another fun fact about this stuff is there's going to be a part three in this video, and I do realize that this is a three-part series for a what many people will consider a two-part problem, but most of these don't dose magnesium, at least not like directly. So both of these calciums, well, both of these calciums have a little bit of magnesium in it, and if you're lucky, um, you won't need to dose them at all. Uh, I'm doubtful on that case, and I genuinely think magnesium is the most underappreciated in this relationship and needs to get a lot more attention. These two lines of thought are pretty well established in the hobby and people talk about it a lot, but I have genuinely never been asked about magnesium, and so tune in for that video. Uh, like and subscribe us on YouTube, let us know how we're, like, give us a comment which product line do you use, like, and why? Uh, where's your loyalty lie, I guess? Uh, we do produce podcasts, and you can check those out. Uh, we talk at length about testing, in particular, in one of those podcasts. And if you subscribe, you get, you know, notifications and stuff on when we produce more videos. And if you're really into a particular topic that I haven't discussed yet and would like my take on it, you know, send us a message and let me know. Until then, be safe out there and keep those hands with it.